Hi, I'm Jeff Cogswell. Today I want to give you just a real high-level overview of what the different Intel Parallel Studio tools do and how to find them. This isn't meant to be an instruction in using each and every tool in detail, uh, rather just how to get to them and get them going. And in future videos we'll walk through the steps of actually using these tools. Uh, inside the Parallel Studio's installation directory, under the advisor directory is a samples directory and in that there's a project called Tachyon. I unzipped that and opened it and this is what we've got. Uh, the first project here is a serial version of this program. It's just a big demonstration program. It does some graphics and whatnot. And go ahead and build the project and then you come over here to the tools menu and go down to Intel Advisor open advisor workflow and that opens up this window over here which is the workflow for your working with advisor and when you click on collect survey data it'll run the program and give you an analysis of it to help you figure out where are ideal opportunities for parallelization and down here are the other steps when you run it you end up with a big chart here which is a breakdown of your code and the percent time spent in different routines and whatnot we'll go into these in more detail in future videos and then as you move forward, you click on the different buttons here, annotate sources, check suitability, check correctness, and add parallel framework. And in the end, if all goes well, you'll end up with a parallelized version of your code. Then after that, you want to move forward to do some profiling on your code, find out if the parallelization actually helped and where the benefits were. And to get to that, you do tools, VTune amplifier, and run new analysis and that opens up this window here over on the left here are all different architectures you can use and uh, different types of, of analyses that you can run such as basic hotspots advanced hotspots everyone has a whole bunch of settings in it and again we'll go through these in more detail and then when you're ready to run one of these tests you just click the start button then after that's all done you can then do the next tool which is Intel Inspector, which helps you find errors both with memory and threading errors. And I've already got that window open over here. And over on the left here, you can choose memory error analysis or threading error analysis or do a custom analysis. And then you've got some different options here. In memory analysis, you've got detect memory leaks upon application exit, detect resource leaks, enable interactive memory growth detection, and several more. And when you're ready to run the analysis, you click Start. And then it'll give you an analysis of your code to tell you where the errors are. And then you'll be able to go in and fix them. That's just a real brief, quick overview of the different parts of Parallel Studio. You'll notice I only mentioned three tools so far. That's because Composer is actually built right in. Composer is the compiler. And when you set up your project initially, as we've done in other videos, Intel Composer XE, and use Intel C++, when you click that, it changes your project to use the actual Intel compiler. And of course, it also comes with uh, several different libraries to help you with your programming, such as threading building blocks. And that's just a real quick overview. In future videos, we will go through these in more detail and show you how to use each tool separately.